The horror. The. <laughs> the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh. Ah. <laughs> first one was just too good. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. <sighs> ah! The horror! The horror! <laughs> mm. No, 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 no. Hmm. Ah. Ah! The horror! <laughs> No, that was just too fake. <laughs> uh. Ah! The horror! The horror! The I'm back! A bit anticlimactic, that one. <laughs> oh well, the first one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, to the real horror, which is um, sports, multiplayer, and free-to-play. I bloody hate them. I hate them with a passion. They are dreadful in every single way. I don't understand sport in the slightest. Oh, let's play as a group and do things outside that include exercise. No, go away. You're combining two things I hate. People and exercise. Ha! Ah, you bastards. And then multiplayer, which is just... If you've ever tried to play multiplayer on a console, especially following, uh, let's say, the PS3 era, well, following the PS3 and following the original Xbox, I think. Did the original Xbox have the gold membership thing? I don't remember. Or care. My point is, the subscription fees just to play online can get height in the bin alongside the cat that's just jumped up on my lap. The point is, yeah. Multiplayer, I hate it, and I hate sports, and I hate free-to-play games. I genuinely do. I think they're all terrible examples of what, well, life is all about. People, sport, i.e. exercise, and free-to-play. Nonsense. All of it is dreadful. So this is Rocket League, a game that is sport mostly multiplayer and it's gone free to play and I love it. Rocket League is doing the one thing that not many other games really do. It's combining sport with something else that I don't really like which is cars. I know the number of racing games I've covered on this bloody channel and on the website. You'd, you'd think I was mad but no. No, I don't care for cars. They're all massive blocks of grumbly nonsense. I don't care for them. They can all get in the bin. Unless I'm going from A to B and they are taking me from A to B. I don't care about cars. I care about an F1 car when I'm playing a game and I'm playing a game that includes an F1 car, but otherwise, I don't care about cars. They're just something that's there. Much like sport, I just I don't care for it. It's off in the corner, it's away over there, and I ignore it. And yet, Rocket League is the two of them combining into one and doing that whole FIFA thing most prominently FIFA Street. Remember that? Back when EA had the whole EA Big label? Or rather, EA 
Big. Uh, FIFA Street, it was all about the Brazilian style of, you know, that. The thing that Americans call soccer. Ugh. There's a reason it's called FIFA, not FISA. Idiots. All of them. Every single person that says soccer, get right in the pen. Yes, you can do the whole hoops thing, and there's the hockey puck, and otherwise. And there, there's a bit more to Rocket League since its initial launch back in 2015, I think? Feels like it's been longer, but nonetheless. Rocket League is just fantastic. It's one of those little things that you can put up, play for maybe 30 minutes and really enjoy, but not really think of it as 30 minutes. You'll play maybe two or three matches and go, I'm satisfied by that, but I don't want to play any more. And that's what I kind of like about it. It's also one of those games where if you do play online, you can play and not hate it. You're not grinding to do anything. You're not you're not doing much in the way of well basically what every well multiplayer game is is all this grindy nonsense. Ha, huh, Avengers. Ha, huh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. I'm gonna rub up against you and say ha huh, for a while, ha. Huh. I I just I don't like that. I don't like that end of multiplayer. I don't like that end of oh, here's a thing that you can play with other people but it will be a job. And that's also my problem with free-to-play. A lot of free-to-play things see Warframe War whatever and such and World of Tanks and whatever. I, I don't know the multiplayer scene. I, I hardly know what StarCraft is. Never mind any of the actual multiplayer things that are modern. I just, I don't care for any of it. Every last bit of multiplayer can get right in the bin, unless it's doing this, which is, here's a thing to play and possibly play with friends, but really you can just play it on your own if you like. Much like, um, what do you call it? Ravenfield. Ravenfield is basically Battlefront, but more of the Battlefront 2-esque thing of bots instead of, you know, all those people. If they actually did that with proper Battlefield, I'd be into that day in, day out. I'd go for your revolutions and such and other stupid names, but I don't. Because you go, ah, oh, yeah, multiplayer. Let's have multiplayer all the bloody time. And let's make this a bloody job. I don't like that. I don't want another job. I don't want things to do every single day. I have enough of that. There's a reason I drink as much coffee as I do. Just so I can do the things that I do in my day. Sometimes that includes playing a bit of Rocket League, to quickly drag this back into context. It's just a fun little game. Okay, little is pushing it. It's expanded quite a bit, but for the most part, yeah, it's just a simple idea. And that's what people say when they mean, oh, this multiplayer thing, this game, or whatever. Oh, that's simple. Yeah, you might think, ah, oh, but that's not simple. There's all these different mechanics. Yeah, the point that's being made is simple in the concept of boot it up, play it, and then a cop. That's all people are saying. And maybe I did get tangential because I saw something that said, oh, but Among Us, is that it? Among Us isn't simple, it's complex, it's had two years of release and all this other stuff. Yeah! Rocket League's been out since 2015. It was hugely popular on release and I wouldn't say it's decreased in popularity, but it did 
it's had a lull and then it's come back up because of free to play and that's why i'm talking about it today because i've gone back to it because of the free to play thing and yeah it's still the same for the most part it's still that fun here's a quick game of what is it? Supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars? Something like that. That's the name of the first one, which. Yeah, you can see why they went with Rocket League. By now, you've probably noticed one thing about the footage. I'm including the post game flash up by Xbox, which is reoccurring in every single match. After every single match, I'm told by Xbox, Hey, do you want to get Xbox Gold so you can play online? No? How about you do? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it or I'll gut your husband. No, wait, that's um, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Uh, it's all very annoying to have that on a console. Hey, I'm just gonna play this game for a bit and enjoy myself. Give us money. No, I don't want to. I'm playing on my own. Fuck off. That's my problem with Rocket League right now. It's very... Well, it's not really a Rocket League problem. It's more of an Xbox problem, which I'm pretty sure you can change the permissions for it to happen with the parental control but I don't really know or care point is yeah that that can get right in the bin it's fucking annoying why why I have my issues with the whole give us money that you know Microsoft and Sony have when it comes to playing online or cloud saving or whatever you want to do, you know, basic features that Steam or I think Epic has most of that. I don't know or care. I don't really care about all that nonsense of Ooh, Epic, Steam. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You have to have a uh, not Steam, uh, Epic account to play Rocket League now because Epic own Rocket League and I don't see the problem. I really don't see the problem but some people who apparently find it fine to shout Oh Chinese conspiracies and on Reddit and such. Yet yeah, those people will have a problem. But you know what those people can do? They can go fuck themselves. I, I don't care. It's just another account. You have 12 of them for fucking Twitter so you can abuse a celebrity or someone who does this on the internet. I, I don't care. It's just one more account. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to do anything with it. You just have to have the account. Oh, but it's stealing the uh, conspiracies in China. <laughs> fuck off. Just fuck off. I think the coffee's hit. Right, the point of Rocket League. Uh, it's, just, it's just a fun game. It's just a fun game of, you know that top gear challenge but with cars that can go up in the air imagine if the premier league was on mars you'd have to put it in an enclosed stadium and you'd have to wall off the crowd with a clear barrier but you can go up the walls you can drive along the ceiling or you can jump 12 times higher. I'd watch the Premier League and all the other ones if they did that. I'd actually care about it. It would be a game of finesse and all that other stuff instead of, you know, the usual...
FIFA nonsense. Here's some money so you can ignore human rights abuses. And here's a bunch of players going, Oh, my nail. Ah, my perfect manicure. Fuck off. Just, ah, fuck off. There's a reason I don't care for the Men's World Cup. Instead, I watched the Women's World Cup. Was it last year? I don't know or care. It was just great. It was fun. It was fantastic. They were actually playing instead of falling to the ground every five seconds going, Oh, no. <gasps> me yeah, Me fucking air. Oh. Bastards. Did I mention that I don't like sport? Yeah, I don't like sport. 